Hey y'all, it's me, and welcome back to another day of the Dawn's Daily Devotional, reading out of Experiencing God Day by Day, and today is August 19th. The title is The Poor in Spirit. Uh, the verse of the day is Matthew 5, 3. It says, The poor in spirit are blessed, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The devotional reads, The Bible presents many paradoxes that can challenge our human way of thinking. We think of the poor as possessing very little, yet Jesus said the riches of heaven belong to the poor in spirit. Self-reliance robs us of God's good gifts. Jesus insisted that in order to follow him, we must deny self. As long as we rely on our own resources, we will never place our trust in him. As we acknowledge the poverty of our souls, we realize how desperately we need a savior. Jesus declared, repent, because the kingdom of heaven has come near, as seen in Matthew 4, verse 17. God has so much to give the one who recognizes his need and will call upon Jesus. Jesus said it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than it is for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. He had just encountered the rich ruler who had valued his possessions so much that he could not give them up to follow Jesus, as seen in Luke 18, verses 18 through 24. Jesus later encountered Zacchaeus, a wealthy, notorious sinner, Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. Despite, Zacchaeus's, despite Zacchaeus's material wealth, he, recognizes, he recognized his spiritual poverty and found salvation. Jesus taught the disciples that true wealth is found in relationship with God. Those who realize their inherent spiritual poverty apart from God will trust in him. And he will enrich the lives, their lives immeasurably. Do not allow your resources, wisdom, talent, or abilities to prevent you from trusting the person who can bring you abundant life. You know what they say, the best way to make God laugh is to tell him your own plans, right? God's plan reigns supreme. I encourage you, relinquish all control, Relinquish whatever you think should be right and really lean into the plan that God has for your life. It's very abundant in nature and you will not regret it. Put that into practice today. I'm encouraging you. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.